is Christmas on the 33. Ever wonder why Tony is such an avid golfer? One of his favorite pastimes wouldn't be possible without a very special Christmas gift. You're about to see a side of Tony that normally only a few of us get to see. What are your favorite traditions or holiday memories? I think growing up you always have a few. Um, you know, for me, I can remember growing up in uh, Wisconsin and one time getting a set of golf clubs and, and um, you know, going outside and trying to hit them right away, but it was, you know, there's snow on the ground. Who and, gave them to you? Uh, my mom and dad. It How was, old were you? It was a big gift for me at the time. I think I was about 11. What's the most recent best gift you've ever gotten? Something in your elderly years? Well, obviously we're going in a direction. What did you get me last year? So I can just say it and we can move on to the next <laughs> a question. A wallet? Really <laughs> a cool. wallet's my favorite gift ever, obviously. And you just started using it last week, it's fine. Yes, because you put it in there. Do you believe in Christmas miracles or do you believe in Santa? Uh, yeah, I think I believe in it all, you know? The, uh, I definitely think that things happen for a reason and, and uh, you know, Santa do you believe can do in whatever. Santa? <laughs> I think certain, you know, if there's kids watching, there's no question there's a Santa out there, right? Right. Yeah. Good answer. Now these are pretty fast, so you be quick with your answers. Okay. They never let Rudolph join in any reindeer game. Rudolph or Frosty? They're the same, Frosty, I guess. All right, red or green? Red or green. Let's go with uh, let's go with red. Very nice. Real or fake? Tree. <laughs> Real. No question. We all know what you're thinking, but uh, we're talking about trees. Keep we're your back mind. to Wendy's. Keep again. your mind on Christmas, everybody. Okay. Charlie Brown, Christmas or the Grinch? Which one can you more identify with? The Grinch. No question. <laughs> I'm turning into the Grinch slowly yeah. as we continue. Mm -hmm. What are your favorite Christmas carols, and how does it go? <laughs> I don't think I'm getting baited into singing here. However, I think I tried. Uh, <laughs> I think. Uh, uh, my favorite would probably be, I like Little Drummer Boy, um, I like O Come All You Faithful, there's, there's a few good ones. Can't give us a Little Drummer Boy, I haven't even heard you go at it. I don't really know how to okay. <laughs> Just a little drums kind of happen a little bit. I know you're pretty good at it, I've, I've seen you before. I'd like to ask you a very special Christmas favor. My dad dressed up as Santa every Christmas, with the whole beard and the belly and the suit, and it was always really touch you right here. So I think if I ever were to have kids, yeah. my spouse would need to do that. I think that your father would be able to continue that. That would be the best bet for that to continue. <laughs> it's such a warm feeling, I guess, that when a mom or someone comes over to you and says that uh, they got their son, your jersey, and um, you know, it's hard because there's so many people that root for you and, and root for our team that it's, it's just an exciting and very rewarding feeling to know that you can bring joy in some small way, I guess, to people. And, um, you know, in some small way, that's what really matters in life is just, you know, allowing people to feel good and to, to uh, have hope and to, you know, just have fun on Christmas and have that good feeling. And, you know, I'm lucky enough and our team is lucky enough to help that once in a while. 1.5 million lights, 6,000 feet of garland, 12,000 ornaments. Of course, you have all that ice. And right behind us, Dallas Cowboy boots that are 14 feet tall. We're at the Gaylord Texan, not just because it's Christmas Central, but because the Cowboys stay here before every home game, making this the official hotel of the team. But they're hard to spot. They're very private when they're here at the hotel. They're going to team meetings, getting ready for the big game, and they actually come into the hotel through a secret tunnel. But the Gaylord has so much more to offer, even if you don't play on the football field. It's easy to get into the spirit when you're surrounded by 1.5 million holiday lights, a 52-foot tall rotating Christmas tree, and the sweet smell of gingerbread. At the Gaylord Texan, crews start setting up for Christmas in August. By the time all this is up, plans for next year are already in motion. Most of what you see is created by hand, from the ornaments to this larger-than-life snowman and 16-foot tall nutcrackers. It was uh, non-stop for, I was putting in seven days a week, 14 hours a day, so up until about two weeks ago. The Gaylord Texan is the Dallas Cowboys home away from home, but we all know their real roots rest in Arlington. So how do you decorate one of the most luxurious stadiums in the NFL? Very carefully. Here's joy to Jerry's world. Joy to the world. 
We get the best people that know decorations. Christmas is a big deal for the Dallas Cowboys. In addition to all of the community work the players and cheerleaders do, they make sure the stadium is ready for the holidays. And that includes getting it ready about a week before Thanksgiving with about 150 people. The spirit of Christmas can be seen throughout Cowboy Stadium, and you can't miss the giant, spectacularly decorated trees. This tree is perhaps a tree made of dreams, a great Hollywood looking tree. And the ultimate director of the Christmas decor here is Jerry Jones' wife, Jean Jones. Jean went way out of way to make sure that this is one of our best Christmas and one of our best Christmas trees. And just around the corner, the Hall of Fame tree. Hall of Fame club, Hall of Fame tree. Silver for the Cowboys, silver, this is a silver tree. We got about four or five big trees, but this is our favorite one right here. This is our angel tree. The angel tree is a very special thing because some little kids from some place get a chance to get some of the things in this world that they desperately need and desperately want. And this permanent artwork at the stadium even looks like a candy cane. Just some of the touches of the holiday that bring Christmas to the home of America's team. If you grew up a Dallas Cowboys fan, chances are the team feels like part of your family. Well, for the woman often voted the world's biggest Cowboys fan, this is a time of year to honor her extended brothers with a shrine covered in silver and blue. The 33's Barry Carpenter checked it out. It's the most wonderful time of the year. This tree is probably the only sign of a traditional Christmas that you'll find at this Bedford home. That's because Shelby Kelly and her family celebrate Christmas cowboy style. On top we have a Tashar Choice autographed helmet and um, I'm, I'm a big Choice fan and I love him and so I thought well there's no better way to to honor my favorite player that's currently on the team than to put him on top of my tree. <laughs> Loyal fans might recognize her as the lady with the star hat but Shelby is also known nationwide as one of the Cowboys biggest fans. To have the fans supporting what it is that I do and who I am and the fact that I share so much of my experiences with all of them around the world, it really has changed the whole experience for me. The bug hit her more than 20 years ago when she pulled up at Texas Stadium for the very first time to watch the Cowboys play the Chicago Bears. I was hooked before we even parked the car. You could really just feel the energy just radiate off that parking lot. And I remember just welling up with tears going, you know, I can't believe I'm here. Since then, she's made it her mission to spread her love for the Cowboys in the Lone Star State and abroad. I make a point to take a lot of pictures of the fans on game day, the stadium, the game itself, you know, the big screen, and just everything that maybe they haven't been able to see either on TV or online. Her family has even dedicated their den to the team. She and her husband Chuck call it the Cowboy Fan Cave, and its walls bear some of the most sacred and treasured memorabilia from America's team. There's so much stuff in here, it's now spilled its way over into the living room, which we probably, had we known when we started this, we'd have probably done the living room instead of the den. This is the family's most prized possession. It's a vintage Cowboys program from 1967, and they've never taken it out of the wrapper. To have something like this from a piece of history from even before I was born, is, is pretty special. Uh, you know, Cowboys history, you, you really can't go wrong with historical pieces like this. While every family has its own Christmas traditions, Shelby focuses on the Cowboys. Not a surprise from the team's number one fan. We wanted to recognize you fans out there. Here's some of your blue and silver decorations. Great job. You can check them out at the33tv.com. And you had some questions for the team, too. Would you rather have Rudolph or Frosty? Frosty. Frosty, why Frosty? I don't know why. <laughs> I'd rather be Rudolph because I can fly, and I also have a glowing red nose. I'll take Rudolph because I don't know who Frosty is. <laughs> He's from Australia, no snow. <laughs> How could I not like Rudolph better? Jason with the red nose like the red hair. I have to go with Rudolph. Would you rather have a poinsettia or a mistletoe? Oh, mistletoe. Definitely. <laughs> I don't know. I think we've ever done either. <laughs> mistletoe because uh, I receive a lot of kisses. <laughs> mistletoe. I love kisses. <laughs> That's the way I'm putting up on the mistletoe so I can kiss it in. <laughs> You'd rather have a Charlie Brown Christmas or a Grinch? No, I'd rather be Charlie Brown. You know, I'm a, I'm a nice guy. I really don't like being mean. Grinch. <laughs> I have a lot. <laughs> I was going to say that. On the squad, of all the people, I would kind of be like more Grinch-like because, 
you know, Brittany is smiling and happy all the time, and sometimes, sometimes I can be more Grinch like. <laughs> She's not. You're a main one, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> the Grinch. Growing up, my mom would always, my mom had it memorized. You're as cuddly as a cactus. I you're... like the Grinch. And I like Cindy Lou Who. <laughs> Charlie Brown Christmas because I think Linus's speech trumps the Grinch's realization. For behold, I bring you tidings of great joy. Would you rather have a real tree or a fake tree? Real. You have to have the smell. You have to have the pine smell in your house. No question. Yeah. We have to do fake. <laughs> we have to do fake because of my son's allergies, but <laughs> I grew up with real. So did I. We both grew up with real, so it's a, it's, it's a big adjustment for both of us. I prefer to be real. <laughs> I like to be real about all things. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. What, what would you rather, rather have? A Christmas story or a Christmas vacation? vacation? You're going to shoot your eye out. I like when he gets his tongue stuck on the uh, bolter. Vacation. Yeah. God, I didn't like Christmas story. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We're all in this together. Would you rather have yeah, 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 yeah. before the presents or after the presents? Before. After. If I've gotten up and, like, been eager and started cooking, then I've, I don't know. Really? You can't sleep at night. You're ready to get up and see what you have. So yeah, I'll eat later. I like to eat, so breakfast before. There's no time for before. We have to do after. The kids won't, there's no before. <laughs> I don't even know what that would feel like. I would love to eat before, but yeah, there's, that's never, that hasn't happened yet. Before, so I can have a lot of energy while I'm opening them up, because I'm going to play the rest of the time while I have them. Being a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader is a lot more than just flashing that winning smile. Traveling overseas with the USO is a huge part of being a cheerleader that I enjoy most. The sacrifices cheerleaders make every Christmas to celebrate our troops. Plus, what is Marty B's favorite Christmas present ever? The answer, a little later.